Okay, in this third video, um, hopefully you've watched one and two, we are still having the same idea here. We're trying to figure out how to find a horizontal asymptote just by looking at the equation. This last scenario is where the degree in the numerator, so here it would be x to the fourth, is larger than the one in the denominator. Here it would be x to the third. As always, we're trying to see what happens as x approaches infinity or as x approaches negative infinity. In this scenario, we can see that f of x will be approximately x to the fourth over x to the third as um, x is getting closer and closer to infinity, because as x is huge, um, adding 2, adding 5x squared plus 2x, those terms become less and less important the larger x gets. Just like we've done in all of these scenarios so far, we can simplify this new estimated version of f of x. Uh, 4x is being multiplied in the numerator, 3x is being multiplied in the denominator, leaves us with x. So this function, f of x, literally behaves just like x as x goes to infinity and negative infinity. So as x goes to infinity, f of x also goes to infinity because the f of x is just behaving like x. So this is going to be two separate statements, so I'm going to rewrite them. So as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches exactly the same thing x approaches, so it also approaches infinity. If you think about it, even before we just simplified to x, the number in the numerator is going to be so much bigger than the number in the denominator. If you have infinity to the fourth power, that's still going to be infinity even if you get rid of three of those infinities. Um, as x approaches negative infinity, again, because f of x behaves just like what x is, f of x is going to approach negative infinity. So this is the first scenario we're seeing where they don't agree, and that happens sometimes um, to your end behavior. Now, what this all means about our horizontal asymptote, all right, is that there is not one. Since the two edges of the graph are not flattening out, they don't agree. One's going up to positive infinity, one's going down to negative infinity. We're not really sure what happens in the middle, but we know that there's not going to be a horizontal asymptote.